Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on Facebook, and this is really easy. A couple of people have already tried to help them, but I thought a video would help them more. I'm, gonna, I'm holding down the control button, so I'm getting a perfect circle. My ratio right here is locked, so I can make it four inches just by putting in four inches in one dimension. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Then I'm going to take a rectangle, and this is why I like drawing in the center of the page. And then I'm going to hit P. I'm going to actually make my rectangle a little bit larger. Hit P. Now I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key, and I'm just going to swipe through that. And I've got two separate parts now, or really one part. So I'm going to select it all, go up to arrange, I should be able to break the curve apart. Well, regardless, we don't really need to have it, I guess, in two pieces anyway. So there's your two halves, and it's equal because you took it out of the center. Now we're going to type the word. We'll go ahead and use that text. I'm using capital letters. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center. A lot of times, Corel do that if you don't select off of it so to get it actually typed a p instead of doing a p so i'm going to select off of it and then select it back and hit p and put it in the center of the page now you could use any font we're going to use let's use it, uh, impact it's a good thick font hit p put it in the center of the page let's uh we don't need it any wider but we can make it longer and hit p a little bit longer and hit P. Now take your text and left click, right click. Now you have to go to arrange and convert it to a curve. So the virtual segment delete key will work. And there's many ways you could probably weld this, but it's so much easier. And actually I don't, I'm taking out too much of the letter. So I'm going to narrow it down and hit P again. I just went on the outside of that line. I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and I'm just going to swipe through the red and black lines. And there is a way to do this with weld or back minus front, but the, by the time you've figured out which one it is, you can already be done. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to smart fill it just to see what it looks like. And it looks good. So now you're almost done. We're still in the center of the page. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and smart fill it again. I'm going to cursor it over. I went way too far. But I can delete all this now. And the smart fill tool basically welded it all together. Then I can left click. I'm going to right click and it's going to be a hairline so it will cut out. Now we're going to finish the top part of the ball. And there's several ways you could do this. Uh, let's just take a rectangle. Make it about like that. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to start moving and hold it down the control button. And then that way it'll be in the center of the page for sure. Now this has a little bit of a, uh, it's hard to see in the picture. It's got a little squiggle to it, and kind of a rounded. So this is another good lesson right here. This is a rectangle. And if we unlock this, we can change individual corners. So we're going to make them both six, give a little bit of deal, a little bit of flare. We're going to click on it. Now we're going to convert it to a curve. I'm going to select these two nodes with the shape tool, and I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to add a couple of nodes. Now it also adds them on the side, but you can delete them. That's just a Corel, the way Corel does that. So we can take all these now, right click your mouse and turn them to a curve so now all these nodes are curves we're going to click on about the middle of that and just kind of bring it up click on just a, and you can do this mathematically to make sure you're more in the center but just for the video so that way it gives a little bit of a flare now take your virtual segment delete key and delete this line now, this you don't want this to cut, so this is a pretty good, uh, 
pretty good way to learn what to do here. So we're going to take this object and we're going to go to contour, go up to effect, contour. We're going to contour to the inside oh, 0.1. Too much. Let's go 0 0.02. That, and we need to make it a little bit stronger, 0 0.04. Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> now we can cut this line away so it will not cut out. We can smart fill, well, I think they've actually got the year written in this. And they do, they have 219. So type out 2019, make it a little bit smaller. Put it in there. Left click, click off the text, then left click, right click, and we're going to do it in black. Now this is a hairline, so there's a couple things you need to think about when we fill this in. I'm going to do a deal called reverse engraving. I'm going to fill all this in with black. Now I'm going to set my nudge factor on like two inches. I'm going to nudge up this part of the black that part of the black and that part of the black. Then I'm going to take my 2019 and I'm going to delete it. And I'm also going to delete this. Whoop. I need to break the contour apart and then I can delete just this. Now we'll go back and get this and because we nudged it, we can nudge it back. So that will engrave and not cut out. Now we still need to do a loop to put the the ribbon through. So we're going to draw a little circle. And on this time, I am going to hit P because I do one in the center. I'm going to start moving and I'm going to move up to the top. I'm going to have to zoom in. Several ways you could do this. Uh, probably you need to think about you need to make this strong. So I'm going to just draw another circle. And when I move that circle, if you have, let's do this. Let's go to view, snap to, snap to object, and when you bring that in, it'll snap to the center. Now, just let's change my nudge factor to a half of an inch. Let's move this out of the way for a second. That doesn't really matter, but then we're going to use the virtual segment delete key and take away that. That way, all this will cut. Then we just need to move this stuff back, and that will engrave and cut out like that, and it'll be really strong. You might want to you know, measure that uh, circle. Let's make it 0.25. You need something with strength. You got to always think about strength. So that's what it's going to look like, cut out and engraved. Now they do have a fancy uh, squiggle, and I just did a video on this last night, and I think I know where to find it. I'm going to uncheck the capital letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I'm going to turn them into a wingding. Wingdings will be at the very bottom, and you should have it. I think it was wingding two. And there's your squiggle. So let's um, let's go Control K to break the text apart, and then just pick one of these out. Now, you could draw that, or you could get a wingding squiggle, or I've got three pages, of, or three or four pages of squiggles listed. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then that way I'm holding down the control button. It'll be in the center. I'm going to control D and duplicate it, and then I'm going to mirror it the other way, holding down the control button. And then I'm actually going to mirror it this way. So there you have it. And you could do anything inside there. Um, that to me doesn't look too Christmassy. But just anything with a little flare, that doesn't look Christmassy to me either. Uh, you could put snowflakes. Uh, there's actually snowflakes inside a wing ding. Let's, uh, let's go to text, text properties. 
and type in Wingding and go to characters. Well, you know what? This video is getting a little bit too long. I'm going to uh, pass on that for right now. Maybe I'll make a second video. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.